The time is now 644 AM throughout March and Women's History Month. We're putting the spotlight on Central Georgia women making her story. This week we're recognizing Macon Bibb County mechanic Abby Brown. Now I'm running reporter Taylor Hicks joins us in studio. Good morning, Taylor. So the fact that Brown is in a male dominated field is amazing in itself, but I hear there's a little more to her story. Caitlin, that's exactly right. It's already empowering to know that Abby Brown is a mechanic, but what's even more mind blowing is that she's the county's first and only woman mechanic. I spoke with Abby about how her passion for vehicle maintenance started and how it feels to make history here in Macon Bibb County. A lot of mechanic shops, if they don't think you know what you're talking about, they will give you whatever work they think they can and it may not address the problem you actually brought it in for. This was the case for Abby Brown years ago when she took her car to get checked. The final straw for me was I had a Saturn, ended up getting a pinhole poked in one of the cooling lines to my uh, radiator. It, instead of them actually replacing the hose that had the hole in it, they took JB Weld and plugged the hole and charged me $250. Brown says her dad had to remake a hose for the car and they put it back together. Working with him, it really showed me how simple it was. Uh, once you understand the systems, it works a lot like anatomy. The same parts kind of translate across a little bit of everything. It was a lot less intimidating than I ever thought it was going to be putting my hands on it and everything just kind of clicked. It was so simple that she decided to make a living out of vehicle maintenance and she's been in the field for five years. Brown is now Macon Bibb County's first and only woman mechanic, and she's loving every minute of it. I mean, obviously I'm a little proud. Uh, it's a little surprising. Weirdly enough, I didn't come into this thinking that it would be of any kind of significance, but you know, it's people definitely are used to seeing it. If I had a nickel for every time somebody was like, you do what now? So, you know, but uh, I really enjoy it. Like I've, I've been in a couple of shops. Like this is the first one I've been in where the guys just feel like family right off the bat. And she wants to continue setting an example for women who want to break barriers. You're going to get a lot of funny looks, but that's really with anything people are used to seeing. Um, life's way too short to hold yourself to societal expectations or anything else. If it makes you happy, dude, do it. Speaking with Abby was super exciting for me because she really is breaking barriers in what most would say is a male dominated field. But she says she feels very accomplished and she loves working with cars and leaving them better than how they came in. Wani and Caitlin, back to you. Thank you, Taylor. What a great story and a great example that she is setting for so many people. I mean, it's an absolutely phenomenal story. I love that, you know, she took that lesson that she learned with mm -hmm. her father and she really turned it into something positive, something that's going to give her longevity and then also a phenomenal career in which she is breaking barriers. Absolutely. And just she said, if you love it, do it. Don't let anything get in your way. Exactly. Don't let anybody stop you from shining. Now, if you want to see more women making her story, you can head to 13WMAZ.com. Earlier this month, Taylor recognized the Georgia Women of Achievement Organization and their Hall of Fame ceremony at Wesleyan College in Macon. She also highlighted the Queen of Pink herself, Miss Carolyn Creighton. If you love the Cherry Blossom Festival, you have to thank her. She's one of the founders of the Pinkest Party on Earth. You can check out her story right now. That is on our website.